can be expected in that uh, relationship the other day wasn't great, but thanks for everybody coming along, just a few acknowledgements here before we want to head on to the uh, jerseys. Just thank the hotel here, here and the screw just for putting on such a, an excellent spread for us and helping us out with anything we've asked for all the weekend. Uh, the PS and I were here to your own. PS and I were here to your own. I had a head on and it was double pay today, so uh, I get, get home early. Uh, but we couldn't have run the race without them getting through the towns. So, uh, so uh, we'll pass on that. <laughs> All the sponsors, from the Jersey sponsors, uh, state sponsors, and adverts and book. Again, that's how we uh, run the race, and without them we couldn't do it. Uh, as well, to you, the team from the club. Great to have you here for the weekend. Uh, and these gentlemen in the blue jackets over here, which kept us right all weekend and kept the information coming. Gary McElroy and the radio tours had to head on home, but uh, he did them in such a professional manner. And finally, the Raiders, the Raiders would have no race, so. So, crack on. Um, we'll go with the under 23 classification, uh, man down here in the right, uh, ready for St. and Ulster, it's Dan Stewart. Was that their plan all weekend to come away with that jersey? Or? Trying to do well and overall, DC news. There's a lot of people up there, 58 seconds, I think. 30 people, so I knew the day was going to be hard, and especially. I was actually happy that it was raining because it sort of puts a few people off. But uh, yeah, it was brutal from the start and just kept the front and stayed at the front. It was pretty hard. Didn't really drink as much as I should have, so I was really, really struggling the last few laps. I managed to get around it. So, uh, it was good. Good man, congratulations. Cheers. All right, cheers. And we'll go on to the uh, leader of the Mountains Classifications, the King of Hills. Uh, man, uh, we described as different words as a motorbike and savage and all sorts, but uh, it's an aqua blue man, uh, Damon Shaw. Classification that's a uh, uh, green jersey, the uh, Sprinters classification sponsored by uh, PH Auto Blast. And another record blue man, again, uh, described as many words as salads and stuff. So, uh, Brian McCusta. Up this way, we can come It's a bit tight. Have to lose weight, Brian. Great, thank you. Well, uh, uh, good move today, getting away there with your teammates. Yeah, well, uh, we kind of wanted to make it hard from the start. It was a break, break my very comfortable conditions, as Daniel said, kind of made it hard, naturally. and. Um, just saw an opportunity to uh, to make a couple of digs at Craig. Sorry about that. <laughs> and uh, found myself out my own and went. So I looked back and I saw a bit of a stall. I just kind of kept the pressure on. And uh, just getting the feedback from the car that was, uh, Damien was trying to get across us. It's something we talked about last night. So uh, just 
sat up and waited for them and two of us out there working working hard is it, it's better than two of us sitting in no man's land and once that happened it was kinda just set it down into a nice rhythm and, and, and pull out as much time as we could. And uh, as well as that a hard day yesterday with uh, uh, your away with uh, your teammate as well? Yeah, today uh, yes it was very funny. Um, I wasn't I wasn't too good in the hills and then I don't think anybody got this road funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wasn't laughing at that one. Um, but yeah, we eventually at the end uh, I got back up to Demi and got out of the, out of the, the bunch and uh, we got the win. But uh, Demi was unbelievably strong yesterday, you know, and he, he, he definitely deserves after yesterday's performance to get the other today was, was, was well uh, justified. Good job, congratulations, surprise. Again, uh, trying to uh, get this man back up again. Uh, I go play man again, Tim and Shaw and the yellow jersey. <laughs> the yellow jersey with a slight bit of pink for the zero next weekend. <laughs> Well, how did that go? <laughs> um, uh, a bit of an epic, I suppose. Um, again, Dan said it earlier on, the rain probably made the race today, like the weather. It was tough from the very start and uh, fast, everything. So, kind of see was the, the stronger rider, like myself and Brian. And, uh, we just made the conditions work to our knowledge, I think. At the road today, 42, 44 mile an hour, shut off. It was a uh, good tailwind at the start. Absolutely, absolutely yeah. It's like more pacing or something. It was brilliant. So, what's the plans then? Going to do the Ross or what's next? Uh, yeah, of course, the Ross. Um, a race like this is just it's perfect preparation and it's, it's an ideal time as well. So, I must commend the, the, the club and the sponsors for putting it on. Thank you. Well, wish you well in the Ross and uh, maybe you'll be coming away with uh, another jersey down there, you never know. <laughs> Good luck. Talk to John. Okay, that concludes your presentation again. Thanks very much for everybody from. Uh, you forgot your teddy. <laughs> <laughs>